Hello, everyone, and welcome back once again to Gary's Mod. And today, the map I'm going to be exploring, at least at first, is GM Construct. Not Haunted GM Construct, not Construct 13 Beta. Right now, I'm actually on the original, plain old GM Construct. Although you wouldn't know it to look at it. Actually, you wouldn't know anything to look at it. It's kind of like, you know those days where you wake up and some cosmic deity has eaten the sun? It's kind of like that. And so the only light we can see is actually from a gadget that we're given by the LiDAR game mode that's just come out on the workshop. A ton of you have requested that I try this out, and so I'm really interested to see what this is about. Now, I had just done a quick little test right before recording. I tried to do this in VR, and unfortunately I couldn't get it to work. But I'm sure this will be interesting, nevertheless. Now let's hold down left click. Aha, uh -huh. and you'll see it projects all these little dots out onto the terrain in front of us in a cone. And I bet if I hold it down longer, yeah, we'll get a slightly busier image. Hmm. And so basically what this mod does in broad strokes, if I'm understanding correctly, is act as a replacement for sight. To me, now, not only is that a super cool way to go back and experience familiar maps all over again, to me, I mean, this has so much potential for horror. Now, it looks like we've caught a little bit of wall behind us. I wonder if the color of the dots has something to do with the changing of a texture. There seems to be a pretty hard line right there, so... I bet if we follow this back, yeah, I think I know where I am. I think these are the garages on the side of GM Construct, and this is where the walkway meets the grass. Yeah, it does look like there's a little bit of a lip there. Ah, and if I go like that, it seems to be shooting a more focused beam. Did I change something? Oh, this happened now that I right-clicked. Oh, that's given us a much more complete image. Yeah, I think these definitely are the garages off to the side. Uh, but while we're doing this, we can't really move very much. Oh my, that is such a trippy image. Uh, how do I get back the how do I get back the scanning like I had before? Is that like a middle click thing or Oh man, <laughs> that actually almost makes it harder to see because it's creating more of a pattern on the image rather than the uniform spread of the other dots. And we can always project on top of projections to make the dots a little bit more dense. But as I was saying, I've always been kind of fascinated by these ideas of, like, sight replacement from a horror perspective. Because think about it, I mean, sight is the primary way in which we experience this world. And when you take that away, we're just so vulnerable and so handicapped. And it adds an extra element of horror on top of that when you realize that, I mean, something could be right in front of you and you wouldn't even know it. I mean, it also leaves a lot to the imagination, I think. Because you can hear a creepy noise, even without sight, but you're not really going to know what it is unless you can see it. Leaving your imagination to kind of fill in a picture of what that might be. And a game that I played recently that actually did a really good job of replacing sight was Iron Lung. Because we were exploring this alien world, but we were contained to this iron coffin. And the only way we could see the outside world was in these brief glimpses with this fuzzy camera. And with the sounds that were coming from outside. It's things like this that allow you to kind of live inside your own head a little bit. Hello, where am I? Uh, it is so crazy to think that this is a map that I know like the back of my hand. That before this I probably would have told you that I could navigate with my eyes closed. But I'm just not sure where I am right now. Let's try that focused beam. How far out does it go? Okay, so clearly that's the grass area in the middle. Okay, and this is that main building that probably leads down to the tunnels. Okay, so up here must be 
where the land kind of slopes up. Yeah, I think that's one of the buildings in the distance. Ah, oh, God, with all these dots, I hope this is picking up okay on the recording. It might actually really struggle in rendering. God, I really hate this kind of sh Ah, there we go. We have to press shift to widen the beam. That focus is just like a little bit too much for me. I'd like to have as wide of a beam as possible. And here is one of those entrances to the underground, I think. Oh, wow. It's like being in a little kid's room with all the glow-in-the-dark stars glued to the walls and ceiling. Only now it's not just a fun decoration, it's actually my lifeline. Oh wait, no. What is this? I don't... <laughs> I have no idea where this is. Okay, so that clearly there's a ceiling above me. Let's get a little bit more light on that. <laughs> I call this light. That's sort of what it is. The more you overlap these layers of dots to kind of increase their density and get a clearer image, it's almost like a weird form of taking a long exposure photo. I think right now we're in the garages off to the side. Uh, but I'm just not totally sure. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Because up here should be the staircase where you can walk above all that. Uh, let's see. Is this going to give us stairs? Yeah. Uh, hello? Build date, May 15th, 2028. Okay. I don't think this is an actual error message. I think this is... This I see now why you guys wanted me to play this. Oh, there's no one there. Or is there? Oh, uh, coming in with the soundtrack now. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, this is exactly what I love from horror. I love being blindsided like this. Oh, but wait. Is there... Does that mean there could actually be something out here? Or is it just going to keep doing stuff like that? Oh, I love horror that catches you off guard like this. Oh, it gave me time to experiment and play around with how cool this is in its own right, and then it hits me with this? Oh, thank you so much for suggesting this. And suggesting it, and suggesting it, and suggesting it. Wait, have we actually lost some of our dots? Yeah, I think we've actually lost some of the light that we painted. Hello? Uh, maybe we should use shift to start using it as more of a flashlight. Or maybe control to bring it in? Yeah, okay, it's control. Oh, I see, it's not by push button. You can actually control it by degrees by holding down shift and control. Yeah, there was a rundown of the controls on the workshop page, but I didn't really retain it. Not the fault of the creator, that's just me. Uh, it's doing that. Wait. How big of a drop is that? Wait, does this actually, like, do something with the map? I can't tell what's being done by the mod and what's just me not having a clear picture due to the way this is presented. Okay, well, there is a bottom. You know what? I think I'm walking on the walkway along the side of the map. Okay, uh, I think over here is that building that stands on its own in the back corner. So maybe I can get into there? Yeah, I think I'm walking on grass now. Alright, I don't know why. I feel, like, strangely compelled to take shelter. Actually, now that I think about it, though... <laughs> I just got jump-scared by a flash of lightning outside my window. Uh, that's how you know this is doing a successful job of putting me in the mood for this. Why are there already lights inside here?
Can you hear that thunder? I think this is where the terrain dips. And yeah, I think I'm in the water. Okay, yeah, that renders a little bit weirdly. Okay, so I'm going to get out of there. I need to move along the side, I think. Let's just focus that beam a little bit more. Yeah, that's good for making a path. And try and climb along the side. I want to try and navigate my way into the underground. Because that way we'll be in much more confined halls, and therefore it'll be much easier to concentrate the dots and navigate. I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of this, but uh, then again, I've thought that before and been proven totally wrong. Now, the thing that's really cool to me about this is that it very easily could have been a standalone map, but it's not. It's actually a game mode that uh, allegedly will work on anything with a nav mesh. Uh, which, now that I think about it, is mighty sus. Why does it need a nav mesh for this? Oh boy, this shadow figure might be more than an artifact that occasionally gets projected. Uh, why did I have to go and plant that thought into my head? Yet yeah, once again, I don't know where I am. It's crazy how I'm able to get this... Whoa! What, 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 what? What just happened? I get the feeling I just missed something important and very critical to my survival. Oh, that is so eerie. That ghost of a tall building in the distance. And it's actually kind of like I'm looking at the ghost of the map itself. Oh wait, that was actually the downstairs of a building. I can see the shape of the of the balconies going up the side. Okay, I think this has to be the main structure. Yeah. There's those skylights running across the top. I can't believe how hard it was for me to find the main focal point of the map. Uh, but that means that these are the stairs going down. Yeah, that's... That's not quite helpful anymore, is it? And I don't think I can adjust the area scan at all. But there should be a... Yeah, there should be a pathway going down over here. That'll take me to the room with the big mirror. Yeah, there it is! <laughs> Oh my god, I don't know if that's a coincidence, or if it's just actually scripted to happen on certain areas of the map. Huh. Die, you. Uh, that's the scary thing about this, is just not knowing what it is that's out there, what's sharing this world with me. I mean, I'm having a hard time thinking of something scarier than being blind and bound to a room. And just listening as someone opens the door, walks in, stays for a while, and then walks out. Imagine the thoughts that would be racing in your mind. That is just some cool abstract artwork. Well, that means that... what? Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, oh, you were projected in a sketchy fashion. Oh, I get it. It's meant to mean that somebody was... It's not just an artifact that's being left, it's meant to imply that somebody was standing in the path of the beam in this case. They would have been standing right here, casting that shadow from the device. Ah, uh, there's the thumbnail. <laughs> Maybe. And we'll see how it looks on the recording. It's so creepy how, in some ways, it's an impairment. But also, we can have sort of x-ray vision because we can still see sort of that ghost of areas that we've scanned even through solid walls. 
But then again, that's another factor of impairment, because remember, the image that we're seeing is intrinsically just always an image from the past. It's kind of like seeing the world only through photographs, because... Because we're only seeing the aftermath of a scan. Technically, we have no way of viewing this world in real time, meaning, uh, for all we know, that thing's not teleporting, it's actually moving. And we're only seeing the shadow of it when we happen to catch it in our beam. Now, the question is, when it does stuff like this, it kind of makes you wonder about its intentions. Like, it, it could clearly get us any time it wanted, if that's what it wanted to do, so... Why is it toying with us? Just kind of keeping its distance and watching. And for that matter, does it intend to be seen, or is that accidental? At this point, I'm honestly not sure if I should be moving on to a different map or stop that. Or if there's something else that's going to happen here. You know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, the closest thing that we can get to a real-time image would be to walk around with, like, the flashlight type tool. I mean, when I go like this, I have to wait a few seconds to get that scan, like a snapshot. It's actually very much like Iron Lung, but hi. Die. You're still there! You're still there! What just happened? Okay, way to mix it up. You didn't flee that time. You were standing still because you continued to cast the shadow even as I pointed the beam at you. Also, I mean, it casts a humanoid shadow, but every time that thing pops up, it makes that weird electronic staticky noise. And just now, when it actually lingered right in front of us, it continued to make it. It almost started to sound angry. So I wonder if that's not maybe some kind of vocalization, some reaction to being caught, or... Maybe even some kind of pain response to the beam itself? <laughs> I can still see your shadow against the wall down there. <laughs> You're right there. That one? Uh, wait, I, I kept getting that noise as I spun around. It, I, did, I never actually saw it, but... It was almost like I was tracking it in the beam somehow. Like it was actually in motion. I'm so angry that I didn't actually get to see it. This is so cool. Such a creative idea for a game mode. I really like the idea that this is something that you can carry over to any map. Or at least any map with a nav mesh. Actually, now that we've been seeing that figure... I'm starting to get the idea that maybe it is actually an NPC that roams around. Like, seeing that artifact isn't just a random thing that happens every once in a while. Maybe it actually is actively roaming the map, or... Worse yet, actively stalking me. I think this leads to the big dark room, right? Nothing spooky ever happens in here. Been quite a while since we've seen him. God, it is so weird scanning the ground above whilst I can still see that image of the caverns beneath. Yeah, but our friend has left us for a pretty long time. Anyway, I, I think this mod is actually working on a level even beyond what I've already discussed, in that it is, in fact, a source mod, and these source games... They kind of have this intrinsically creepy feeling to them. There you are, right there, right there, right there, right there. Where are you? There you are. It's like I can track him to an extent, but... When I catch him after the fact, he's never... He's never there. I can never see him. 
source maps do just have kind of an inherently creepy vibe to them. And I feel like with a mod like this, you kind of feel like you're stepping outside of your normal perception, which, as I already said, is kind of a weakness, but also it makes you feel like you're peeking under the hood a little bit, seeing something that was always there, but this just enables you to see it. And it kind of gives you that sinking feeling, that thought that was this figure, whatever it is, always watching you? Was this what was creating that feeling while you were playing on all these classic maps? I just had the thought of, since it does seem to react negatively to being scanned, at least as far as I can tell from trying to kind of psychoanalyze the tone of that static noise, uh, maybe I'll try hitting it with a more concentrated beam next time I see it. Let's start scanning around with this, because, yep, there we go, speak of the devil. I think it ran off down this way. Now let's try doing an ocean deep dive adventure. Oh wow, the center of the map looks so big when you put it this way. And even though we can't actually hear any external sounds, I've noticed that when I drop down from a far height or jump in the water, I can't actually hear any of the sounds associated with it. So I'm blind except for what we see in the dots, and death except for the sounds of the gun. Although it does seem to be somewhat muffled by the water. Look, as we come out of it, we can even see our trail through there where our beam left a more concentrated trail of dots. And you know, I, I know it's just the way my monitor works, but every once in a while I swear I can see movement as the dots swish about the screen. Every once in a while I'll just throw a scan behind me, just to see if I can discern some kind of behavior, like Maybe it follows me just behind. So I've just booted up the map that I'm working on, not even for the video, because it doesn't have a nav mesh at this point, and I just realized something. Something about this game mode actually flips the view of the player. So everything that should be on the left is on the right, and everything that should be on the right is on the left. And so probably without even realizing it, you'll end up with that extra element of unfamiliarity with what should otherwise be a familiar map. <laughs> and it's not until I got onto my own that I even realized this. Ah, oh, well played. God, it, it took me way too long to realize that it's actually flipping the player's view. And that's why I was having such a hard time figuring out where I was, but... If you think about it, that's a really cool way to go about it! Hi! I didn't see that one before. I thought it'd be a little while before I started to see something new. That soundtrack is so creepy. I mean, it is just perfect for making some unknown but disturbing discovery while you're tinkering around with something. Yeah, it seems to happen a lot when I'm down here. Okay, well, there it is. It's giving us this new perception of old maps, and really, I guess, any map you want, but... In particular, the ones that we're already familiar with. And having us see them from this different perspective that sort of defamiliarizes them. As well as sort of giving the impression that what you're doing is just taking a peek under the hood and seeing what was always there. I find that so interesting. I kind of get the impression that there's maybe something more I'm supposed to be doing when that shadow appears. 
but I just can't figure out what that would be. I mean, I've tried locking onto it, and it seems like it does stay for a certain amount of time after we've spotted it, but I just can't manage to track it if that is what I'm meant to do. Ah, oh, that music upon the first use of the scanner. I think it fits this mod so perfectly. Because it almost introduces this as a thing of wonder. So even though it's got that little bit of eeriness to it, because you're creating these images in this dark void, it still kind of sets the mood where, you know, it's something to play around with. It's something cool to experiment with and something new to see. And it's only later on that it leans more into the creepy aspects that were always there from the beginning that you might have acknowledged at first and then quickly gotten over. Now here's the thing, I am actually recording this a little while after the rest of the recording session. I finished it already, but uh, a user on the Discord helpfully informed me that there's still one more thing that I should be checking for. If we hold down tab to look at the player list, we're not alone in here. That is a nice, creepy little detail. And look, it even seems to have changing ping. Ah, oh, this is such a cool mod. Thank you guys so much for suggesting it to me. And suggesting it, and suggesting it, and suggesting it. And if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more creepy and comfy content. If you have any ideas for other videos you think I should do, the best place to do that will be at the Discord, which I will link in the description. If you want to try this game mode out for yourself, of course that link will also be down in the description. And as always, I will see you in the next one. I wonder if this mirror still reflects me.